There has been a dramatic increase in the number of teens and young adults who need immediate mental health counseling through Baptist Health during the pandemic. The challenge when helping teenagers in particular is that when they turn 18 and are then legally considered an adult, their families are no longer included in their mental health treatment plan. And this can cause many of them to fall through the cracks. Jonathan David is a Davis, excuse me, is a care coordinator from the Dragonfly program. He helps prevent those cracks, so to speak. Jonathan is joining us via Zoom this morning. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. It's such a pleasure to be here, Jennifer. Thank you so much for allowing me to join you this morning. Oh, absolutely. So, Jonathan, can you give us a sense of the kind of struggles that local teens and young adults are experiencing right now? Jennifer, it's 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 hard to see some of these kids and what they're going through. These parents are just really beside themselves. Uh, it's a crisis, and I, and I believe the pandemic has added to this crisis. Uh, a lot of these young people have been siloed, and they've gotten used to not having that one-on-one -on -one interaction with other folks. And that's led them to uh, increase the amount of social media that they're using. Um, and, and I believe this has really led to the increased anxiety and depression in the young people. So the Dragonfly program, as we know, started six months ago. Already, you know, you've served 86 patients. Would you explain specifically how it works? Absolutely, yes. So for those of you who are not aware, uh, this role uh, was actually mirrored after MD Anderson's nurse navigator role. Uh, the purpose of our program is to provide uh, encouragement and support to families whose young ones are going through crisis. So in order to be part of the program, all the, all the uh, participant needs to do is call our number, the 904-376-3800. And if you know that you'll talk to one of the new patient coordinators and they'll go ahead and get you entered into our database and what will happen at that point, uh, if the resource is something that we can't uh, take underneath the Baptist behavioral health umbrella, it will be tasked to the dragonfly coordination team and between myself and Christy, we will work together to uh, not only reach out to that patient initially to link them with the appropriate resource but we'll also follow up with them rigorously to ensure that they're staying on top of uh, whatever resource it is that they need. And, and Jonathan, I think it's important to point out, I mean, this was started by a local mom. Her name is Cheryl Johnson after her own son, Alex, accidentally overdosed while away at college as a result of his depression. The reality is young adults, are they're, they're still trying to figure out being on their own, right? Adding in a mental health condition then can just be absolutely overwhelming, which is why, you know, if, if you have a family member who's diagnosed with cancer, as an example, that all of the doctors, they welcome the rest of the family to come in and help. But the reality is, for some reason, when it comes to mental health, that doesn't always happen. And it and these teens end up feeling more isolated than they should. That is correct. And I am completely indebted to Todd and Cheryl. Um, they are amazing people. And if it weren't for them and uh, Dr. Terry Andrews here at Baptist Behavioral Health, I wouldn't be able to stand before you right now and, and provide that support to those teenagers who are truly struggling. Um, they really, what they really need is someone just to, to, to be with them, to listen to them, to provide support, encouragement, and let them know they're not alone. Uh, these young people, you're exactly right, Jennifer, they feel alone right now. And being siloed really doesn't help them. They need a coach. They need somebody that's like, come on, you can do this. You know, we got this, we're gonna do this together. And I, and I, I believe uh, this program was put in place to do that, to provide that encouragement and to let mom and dads know, uh, caretakers, uh, you know, that's an exhausting job in itself. You probably know that, Jennifer, being a mom yourself. Mm -hmm. um, so it's very important that we provide the support and encouragement, not only to the, to the actual teenager, but the family as well, to keep rooting for them and letting them know that, uh, you know, we're going to get through this together. Yeah, and we're all there for you to support you. Remind me quickly again, who is eligible? All people are eligible. If you need help, we're here. All you have to do is call 904-376-3800. Help is literally a phone call away, and we will continue to help one person at a time get the help they need and they deserve. Jonathan, thank you for your time this morning, and thank you for lifting up particularly these teenagers and young adults in our area who are desperate for help. Uh, and, and to know that you're there and that their family is there and that you'll help connect everyone together is just, I think, important to so many families. We appreciate your time this morning. Thank you for your support. Thank you all.
And it's important to remind you, as with any kind of program, uh, it relies on funding. And the funding is getting ready to expire for the Dragonfly program. So you can help, you can donate, you can learn more by going to giving.baptistjacks.com and search Dragonfly Fund. There are 82, they're 82 percent close to reaching their goal of $750,000. So we hope that you will help them get there.